Hello YouTubers, this is Chris and what I'm going to show you today is a problem I was struggling with replacing a shattered control arm on a uh, 2005 Hyundai Elantra and what looks like it basically happened here was this thing it's, it's just stamped steel the control arm broke and it sheared off from the where it's attached to the frame right here via this uh, stabilizer link with that being said um, the whole wheel swung out uh, and the steering knuckle attached to the wheel pulled the entire CV joint out of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, tran the transmission. So that's the problem. But the, the, the real problem is that uh, this, this piece, the spline shaft, is still inserted in the transmission and I can't get the thing out. And what I'm going to do is take you through how I, uh, I developed a little device to get this thing pulled out. I'm not going to go into the removal of this, this entire um, uh, control arm and stabilizer link business. There are plenty of really good videos out there. And that part was, uh, it actually went quite, quite quickly. It wasn't so bad. So uh, why don't we um, pause here and get to business. And I'll get into the background of why this broke. Here is what we have left of said um, half shaft here. And this whole damage was done by uh, my mom driving over a big rock. Instead of just popping out of the, the transaxial, the Rezepa joint just, just tore right off. So, and there's the rest of it. And you can see it stuck there and no amount of coaxing I've been able to muster up here has been able to get it out. So I'm trying to clean this up the best I can. Um, the inner part of this, what's, what's still embedded in the, the transaxle. And this is just nasty, man. This is like diaper dirty nasty. Um, I just want to get it kind of clean enough that will have a spot for the vice grips to stuck there to kind of drip onto. I don't really have to clean the whole thing out, but so there are a number of ways that you can do this. And in my mind, I have my own specifications on what I'd like for a tool to uh, be able to pull this, this splined shaft piece of the broken um, joint out of the, out of the transmission. So what I'm going to do is take a uh, piece of just thin aluminum stock, about oh, three feet long, because I want it long enough that you don't need to be underneath the vehicle while you're, you're hitting with the hammer uh, to, to pop this, pop this out. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to drill uh, two holes on one side and one hole going through this way. On this end, we're going to have, uh, I'm going to mount a, just like a heavy duty, oops, shelving bracket. Like so. One there and one here. And those will be bolted on. And this will be your, your, your striking uh, surface for the hammer and as I said we want this whole thing about about three feet long so you don't have to three four feet whatever and up here I'm going to attach a pair of vice grips and they have to make sure you have the the hook that you can hang them from a pegboard or whatever because the bolt's going to go through that and so we'll have a pair of vice grips which I will try to draw here Vice grips, the sharp teeth, and get the point. Uh, this will be attached by the handle, and this is what's going to attach to the um, the piece of to the perimeter of the, the shaft that's embedded in the car. And what we're going to do is just strike it with a hammer. You can slide it right here, and it's really not so much. I mean, just the, the pulling motion won't really extract this piece here, but it's it's the sharp. The striking, so you, I, I don't think you even have to hit it that hard. It's just the the quick change, um, the inertia that will uh, extract this really quick. So 
again, no, no amount of gentle pulling is going to pull this out, but a few strikes with a hammer on this. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to make it really quick, and then we'll put it to work. All right. So then you take your three or four foot long piece of aluminum stock here, and I just mounted a uh, just a standard kind of L bracket, a shelving bracket, heavy duty one, thick, and kind of mark it. Um, and put a couple of a couple of holes in it. Uh, we'll drill those in. Um, conversely, once those holes are drilled in it, you can actually flip it up. And you can mount these one on this side and one on this side. And then you'll have a nice T-shaped portion that you can whack with a hammer or slide a heavy weight up and down along this bar. And uh, so why don't we complete those drill holes, just get a couple of, couple of bolts and nuts to hold it on there, and we'll take it from there. So the first thing we're going to do is take a piece of just... Um, aluminum stock, uh, it's quite thin, it's maybe like a well, quarter inch or so, um, by about an inch wide, and put a hole in it on the business end of this. Um, I just used a, a, uh, it's a 1964 inch um, bit, and I chose it because it will allow a bolt to pass through this hanging slash adjusting uh, hook on the vice grips, which are going to be my tool of choice. So what we're going to do, as you can see, and then this will go on. So I'll get reasonably tight. And this is what's going to go and hold on to your um, your piece of the inner um, half axle that's that's stuck to the stuck inside the the, uh, the, the transaxle axle. So what we're going to do is we'll mount um, a couple of flanges on here. I'll show you at the very end so you can. Hmm. All right, so now we will be able to put one on like this, and if so inclined, we can have a double. So then you can whack this thing and pull this end here, which will be attached the stubborn piece of the um, inner half axle embedded in the transmission, in the transaxle. All right, so we'll just get some nuts and bolts and screw these on. So we need to uh, open the jaws a little bit. So the clamp, that's a little too much. Let's tighten it back up. Think right about. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it there. So you can see we have our vice grips attached to the rim or whatever the perimeter of the the embedded piece of half axle here. And we have our long piece going down here. Um, and this is where we're going to just. If you have a slider, I'm going to just try it with a hammer. If you want to get clever with two hands, you can put this on here to dis distribute the weight easier. So um, I'm going to put this camera down, reposition it. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to give it a, I'm just going to give it a whack right now. See what happens. Ready? Now, 
I don't think anything happened. <laughs> I think it just uh, knocked the, the vice grips off. So let's try it again. You can still see in here, there's this piece wedged in here, the spline shaft, and our vice grip contrivance is attached to it. And if you don't succeed at first, try, try again. So what we're going to do is just take this hammer here, give it a good whack. We've got plenty of room here. And... Came out and uh, yeah, popped open at the last minute, but you get the gist of it all. Kind of just clamps right on there. And here's the whole, the whole tool. So here's the, the whole apparatus after, um, <clears throat> after I've completed the job. Uh, just one more refresher view of what we have here. Again, these are just two L brackets. We're screwed on here onto the end with some common um, just uh, quarter uh, 28 bolts and nuts. Uh, a couple holes drilled in it. Aluminum stock. Here's the end here where the vice grips are attached. And uh, this is what the extricated piece of the, um, the, the, the axle looks like when it's in there. So that's the whole thing. I uh, hope you find this useful. And like I said, you just give a, give it a couple of whacks with the hammer right here. Pulls the whole thing out. It's nice and long, so you don't have to be kind of wiggling around underneath the car. I mean, it, it sticks out, um, you know, a couple of feet from the, uh, from the fender well. And that's it. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you find this helpful. I found it tremendously helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just put it on the message board and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Cheers and Happy New Year.